Developing this morning, a Liberty County deputy and two others remain hospitalized after they were shot yesterday. A fourth victim who was shot died. Police identified the gunman as 65-year-old Pavel Vito. He reportedly killed himself after cops found him hiding under a boat. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon tracking the latest on the shooting this morning. Ro, do we know how the deputy uh, and those other two victims are doing? Uh, yes, the deputy is in critical but stable condition. Law enforcement officials say that doctors are looking for bullet fragments. He's a fighter. I mean, he's going to fight and get his way through it. He, when I saw him, of course, they just got here and he was still in a lot of pain. So, uh, but he's a fighter. He always has been. He's a good man. This morning, a four-year veteran of the Liberty County Sheriff's Office is in the process of recovering after a confrontation with a suspect left him shot in the neck. Deputy Richard Witten was off duty when he confronted this man, 65-year-old Pavel Vito, a man wanted in the shooting of two men and a woman at the B. Dependable Plumbing Shop. The confrontation happened at the Big Thicket Veterinary Clinic. After the deputy was shot, Vito fled, and a manhunt started. Vito was eventually found by this bloodhound named Radar, who was able to sniff out Vito under this boat. When Vito was caught, he shot himself. As to why this all went down... Uh, we have some theories that's still being looked at. We can't uh, confirm anything quite yet, but we do have some theories that we're working on. The female victim didn't make it. Now two male victims and the deputy are in the hospital. Deputy Witten had many visitors. He's a great guy. Really... Uh... One of the girls at the vet clinic where this happened today said it, uh, he came up there one day, had a uh, cats all in his car, and they were calling all over his dad. He said he's one of their most uh, caring people that they've got that uh, brings them stuff all the time. Now, Liberty County deputies say the plan is to always have a law enforcement's presence here at Memorial Hermann as Deputy Witten recovers. They also wanted to make sure to thank all of the agencies that responded. Reporting live from the Med Center, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.